What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Harris. I'm once again joined by Justin, and we're here. Uh, this is it. This is... We're going to be reacting to Kingdom, Ashen of the North, the prequel. Yep, that's right, guys. We finished Kingdom, the really crazy series. We thought that it would end with Season 2, and this would be like a sequel, but like Harris said, it's a prequel, so... We kind of expect a season three after this. We're interested to see what this kind of explains for some stuff we don't know because we found out at the end of the season two, the plant came from China. It looked like it was man-made and we got that big, I guess, cliffhanger with uh, that girl at the end. Was that like, woman, yeah. I'm assuming that woman is the protagonist of this. Yeah, and I guess we'll find out more about her, maybe hopefully more about the plant as well um, because there's, I think, a lot more questions that the finale, like, set forth rather than answering questions, so... Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, should be interesting. Um, if you loved Kingdom, if you loved watching us react to Kingdom, uh, we're here. We listen to you. We're watching Action of the North. So hit the like button down below. And then subscribe to us if you haven't already. And, um, if you want to see the full thing, you can join our Patreon. Link will be down below and watch the full movie with us uh, and all like full uncut reactions of the rest of the stuff that we do on the yep. uh, on the channel um we sh appreciate the patrons who have been there already and uh supporting us and everything like that and i can't wait to see what this story is and how this i guess segues into a potential season three maybe i don't know if netflix like renewed it or anything like that i have no news on it but let's see what happens Japanese invasion love. Right. I know some people said rooms. that we should pay attention to this. I'll write some of this stuff down. Another storm was brewing. The Jurchins. Jewelry. 10,000 10, Jurchins gather, no army in the world could defeat. So the I'm guessing, are more powerful. Write that down, write that down! Oh, so there were people who were already there. But they were not accepted as a people. Of no. Okay. They try, I guess they tr they tried to assimilate into that culture and just were rejected, or they were just, like, ignored. I don't know. I'm going to assume what that they were rejected because they, they were all shot. We're about to get this origin story of the resurrection flower. Is that it a... looks like an animal eating the flower. I was about to say, that a deer? Oh, no. I'm getting trained to Buzan vibes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All the eggs. Yep, there it goes. That was I mad am. quick. That was very quick. And then I guess somebody finds the deer. Oh no, but then it went into a water. Oh my god. Oh. I feel really bad for this deer. Oh look, see, it's in the, the zombie deer! Train to Busan, like you said. Oh no, that, is that a tiger? Oh, is this in China or is this Korea? What the... Alright, what oh, wins? And now what it's wins? Go to the tiger. I don't know, this, zo this zombie deer might win. Oh yeah, it isn't dying, right? Yeah. Unless it just like bites his fucking head off. So, I mean, I guess whoever is gonna hunt this fucking... Oh wait, oh, no, wow. this, this is Part the origin. The we are literally this getting the, the origin. Like the legit origin, okay. Is that the girl from season two as a kid? All right, there's George. Blame the animals. I mean, if you ever see an animal acting weird, you know it's an apocalypse time. Every single movie show I've seen, it's always the animals first. No, they don't know, man. They're just out there trying to hunt game, and then they didn't know that this game is fucking laced with parasitic worms. So this is the origin of the, I guess, parasite in Korea. We still don't know like how it came to be in China. If that story is true, I guess, too. That story could just be a lie when they said they brought it from China. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's a lot of corpses. Wait, that's people? Okay, so those were jerkins. Those were jerkins. in that pile of bodies. Psycho. Wait, 100 years this thing has been going on? Oh, wow. 
Other soldiers, so those were the the the, the Pajoi Jerkins were like the elite force, right? If I remember correctly. Hey yo, I hope there's no worm in that fucking pig. What? Whoa! What? what the fuck? Okay, he could remove the hands. That guy would have fallen, and all the meat would have been in the mud. So. Hey, yo, what the fuck? She literally threw the piece that he touched on the ground. Oh, wow. Do they not like... Is that like a rare occasion to them? So... Her actually doing that actually uh, gave him a meal. Oh, no. I don't like stew. I don't like what happens if there's stew, man. Hey, but then they didn't cook up a human. <laughs> oh, Ashen. Okay. This is the girl. Oh. Can even bring back the toe. Oh, I already see where this is going. She's gonna go get the plan, bring it back to her mom, and then... Oh, no. She's gonna get a fucking resurrection plant, and then... Ugh. What the heck? Royal Guard. <laughs> You liar! Oh, lie. I think he's lying. Because, I mean, they were. It looked like they were they had, arrows. They had they were yeah, arrows sure. spears so inside were... them. Yeah. So is there like a secret society or something protecting the uh, the plants? Oh shit! Oh no! What is going on? What the fuck is? Oh my god! They're hanging that one. Oh, all right. Just, oh my god. Okay, we're killing everybody. My lord. The hell did you just drop in there? So it was the king's royal guard. Okay. This is the god. This is the fucking. This is a uh, Lord Cho's kid. Who? This guy. You mean his son? Yeah. This is Lord Cho's son. Remember? Oh. Woo. Yeah. See, because he died from the that zombie like at the box. Remember, like the, the yeah, in episode went two. Into that box? Is, yeah. is, is it the same guy? This is the same dude. See, yeah, oh yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Okay. Yeah. Does that mean that girl in the beginning was that the queen when she was a youngin? The one watching the pigs, and then when the mom slapped the hand. Yep, burning the bodies. No evidence. Okay, so he's he's just trying to be appointed, like when he talked to the military, to get somebody from their village. So yeah, because she said, why are why are you gonna still like are you still gonna be undercover for them? So this dude's is like a spy or some shit. I mean, we know he's not making it, so. No, nah, he's probably dead. <laughs> they kill like every single parent in this fucking. This will probably be the last time she sees her dad, unfortunately. Yep. See you later. She's, oh, she's almost dead. Time for the flower. Oh, no. She's gonna go get the flower. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, he's got the mark a, on his hand. Is he one of the elite? He's one of the 
Punjabi churches or whatever. <laughs> what is that? Oh, the person. Yep, you're right. Ritual. This is what you want to do. If you want to make zombies, here you go. Okay, so they blamed it on this tiger. Now they're going to go hunt this tiger. Mm -hmm. That actually does exist. It does exist, yeah. yes. So I guess the question is now, is the tiger a zombie? Oh no, wait, that guy's got a marking. Back up, back up. Run from the CGI tiger. Oh. Oh, fuck. You guys were not prepared. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, we got the first person tiger view, the tiger cam. It's definitely a zombie tiger, though, right? It's gotta be. Yo, that thing is fast. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! Yeah, get out. Are they gonna, like, try to kill each other, or...? Are they both trying to get the tiger? Oh, you fuck, oh, yeah. Fuck. Done. Nah, you guys oh. are stupid. Oh my god. Holy crap. Yo, this tiger probably like, yeah, you can't kill me, bitch. Dude, how are you supposed to kill a zombie tiger, man? Alright, let me see what you got. About to get one shot in for one bite. Yo, that oh, thing actually- that's fucking high. That thing was scary. Dude, I'm about- your arm's about to come off. Ah! I'm surprised it hasn't yep. come off yet. Are you kill him? It is dead. Alright, they got Oof. the brain. So now this guy's gonna turn into a zombie, right? I don't know. I don't like. Is this before? Because they said the first time they saw people bite people and start to turn was in Kingdom, right? And because they they did the same thing against the Japanese, but they didn't turn. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if there was something different. What is he doing? Is, is he looking for his people? It's fucking disgusting. Dude, the gore has been like insane so far. I will definitely say that. Yeah, he was looking for the people. Oh, it's about to be a fight. Uh, this guy's pretty savage. I might bet on him. So this, oh, he's going bad. It's about to be a so war. These are Pajawi. Okay, so this is the border right here, so you can't cross yeah. over to the other side. Oh, uh, no, no. What? Oh, fuck. Wow, so it's not... I thought that they would become zombies and that would happen, but she, she's gonna be saved because their village got ambushed. The Pajawi are coming. Revenge, this is the revenge. Oh, and these people were innocent. Oh, oh right, sidestep. Yo, this oh. guy is nuts. Holy shit. We have Black Ops 2 Tomahawk. Not the kids, kids man. Kids. Stop. Wait. Did they hang them? Oh my god. <laughs> nah, that's too much, man. What the hell? <laughs> Undercover? <laughs> oh shit, yeah, okay. Never mind. Oh. 
Okay, this is making yeah, sense now. It's building her revenge, her motivations. To get revenge against the Pajawi, but it was the Cho clan who's who's, who started. Yeah, that was like the main Oxen. origin. Uh, so I could see maybe like she will be grateful for the king for taking out the Cho clan, but maybe the Pajawi are still around, and then that's how they need it. Yeah, she got that origin story right. Your parents die, you get consumed by it, and then it drives you throughout your whole adolescence and life, and then it molds you to what you become. And like we said, the last time she saw her dad, oh uh, yeah. Yeah. The na she still has the flower. She, she still has the flower. Damn, they got her doing manual labor like that. She just lost her family. Somebody want to help her out at least? Fuck, dude. This looks terrible. Oh, here you go. Wait, Training art. She trained herself? Savage. Beast breathing, first form. Oh shit! Oh sh! Oh shit! Bro, what the fuck? Did she set this boar up? Dead. Yo, this chick is better than Paco. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Wait, why are they looking at her? No! No, no. No, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck, man? Kill, they kick their ass, man. They, they deserve, chop off their balls like in my name. Thank you. Uh -oh. what, are you what are you trying to do, bitch? Yeah. Yeah, so she became a badass all on her own. Uh, what the fuck, man? Oh my god, what? These assholes. Bruh. Her life has actually been awful. Like, legit terrible. What the hell? Wait, could that be her dad? Maybe that person wasn't actually her dad? Was that the dad? That's the dad. Yeah, okay, so that, yeah, her dad didn't So die. that was the mom at the thing, so I was yeah. right. Yeah, okay. Spy who oh. betrayed his old tribe, yes. <laughs> oh, fuck, so they tortured this guy. They cut off his legs. <laughs> But he's been like that for what? Five years? Six, seven years? God. Fuck. Ugh. Dude, this movie has just been about making her character just get kicked again and again and again. It's like, my God, how much more could she go through? Shit. Does she have the flower? Did she keep it? <laughs> okay, he knows. I mean, this is terrible. I mean, like, would you kill your own father if he's suffering like this and he's begging for it? He's got no uh, leg. Oh my god. I think she's gonna do it. She just did it. Oh, she did. Yeah, I heard the, the, heard the, the squinch. Oh wow, okay, I didn't hear that, damn. Yeah. Oh, she set fire to the village. Oh, sh yep. Woo! Damn. She's gonna be like, give me that shit back. Oh no, she recognizes them. Oh, she recognizes them. She knows them. now, yep. Damn, that's a good memory. She's like, wait, you guys killed them, and then we were blamed for it. Yep. Ooh. She's 
literally like a trained killer oh. right now. Oh! 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 And they said it was the village. Oh my god. I thought you were a good guy. <laughs> no shot. Yep. Oh the my god. The person she was helping all these years. Unbelievable. Oh no, he found the flower. Oh. Oh, quick. She's gonna use the flower on this guy. She did use the flower on him. Oh god, here we go. Oh! Alright, so we're about to see if this spreads like in Kingdom. I don't think it's gonna spread now. Oh, she, I think she killed all of those people already. Yep, she's probably in there. Oh my god. Wait, there's zombies. What? She resurrected all of them? Oh my god. Shit. Here we go. Oh! Fire. Oh! The fire. Does he know about the head, though? Oh! Dinner fest. Yep. Dinner party. We got the buffet. Okay, they still don't know to go for the head, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bro, oh, oh, there oh. she is. Yeah, you're not running, bitch. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I am vengeance. This whole camp is now zombified. Dude, she's efficient. She took out two camps in a day. He knew what up, what was up, but now uh, Ashen's bodying everyone else. Dude, she's scarier than the zombies, man. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. No, if she hits this man with an arrow, stop. Yo, she's too much! Holy shit! Insane. Literally insane. She taught herself this too, which is the crazy part. Uh, she's gonna burn them all. Oh, okay. So she led all the zombies there to get rid of them. Okay, so she, she didn't let them lose. Technically, she was the first person to weaponize zombies. Yes. Yes. What the fuck? Whoa. Wait, is this the zombies we saw at the end? Is like at the end of season two, where, where, where they were at there. But no, she revived everybody in our village to get, she like, connect with them. everyone in the village. So then where we ended season two, is that her village? That's it. That's, that was her village, yeah. And that's why she was there. Oh my god, this is sad actually, man. He brought them all back. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's not. Oh, he's still alive. So, has she been doing that for the last few years? Eating live people to them? Oh, because they won't eat dead people, right? They won't eat dead yeah. 
Oh, God. Yo, I think she might be the villain, man. I think she... Was this a villain oh origin story? Oh god, that's her mission. Oh, okay. God. So she's just gonna kill everybody and then she'll turn herself into a zombie. That's Dr. Lee. Wait, she gave the plant? She gave the plant to Dr. What the Lee. Fuck? Wait, so she's the reason it went down to the south. So all his notes, all Dr. Lee's notes come from her. Whoa. Why? Was this like a trap? She sent it down there because she thought it would overrule them probably. She'd be like, they have no idea. She wants to kill everybody on Joseon soil. Oh, here we go. And then now she's meeting with the chief from the... The, the one that killed her village. Yeah. Yo, she about to solo these people? She's gonna solo all of these people? I, I, that? I thought that guy was nasty, the one throwing the axes? I... Yo, she is legit Green Arrow, man. Ed, no way. Come on, man. Whoa. Fuck! Do you think what those guys said was a lie? At the end of Kingdom, they said this came from China, remember? And then they was planted here? Or maybe that was the origin of it. Was that was China. probably the lie that was told. And then when they go and investigate, they meet up with her. And then she's probably just gonna like drop the noose and then be like, Hey, I knew about this plant before everybody else. And then I told Dr. Lee. And I probably like brought it over from the north into Joseon soil. And, and, like, brought on those plants in the cave, I guess. She's the one that probably planted them there, right? Well, I don't know if she planted them in the cave. She found them in the cave, right? Oh, you mean other places? Other places. Other places, other yeah, places. probably. She's probably the reason it spread. Like, it originated yes. in that area. I thought I had written it down. It was, what was it called? The G Pai Sangan? Saigon? The area that was sealed off. Yeah. So I think, yeah. yeah, that's where it originated from, it looks like. And then it spread because she, I guess, distributed it. And then it started getting planted other places, in the, especially in the south. Wow, okay. So I guess her goal at that point was she said, I think her logic was, I'll send this down there. They'll have no idea what it is. And then it would just overtake them. Probably. I don't think she gave it to them so that they can defeat the Japanese, which is what ended up happening, right? But... No, I think that's what happened though, right? Because she met with Dr. Lee and then the, Dr. You, Lee's the one that told Lord Cho. The, you think Lord that's Cho... why she gave it to him is what I'm saying? Like, do you think she did it to well, help them defeat the Japanese? Do you think that was her motivation? Or, or do you think... because she wants to kill everybody in, what's it called, that area? Joseon, right? right? Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah, I thought she just, that, that's why I thought she did it because she thought that it would overtake them. So then my question is, does she have a grudge against the prince too? Like... If they actually come face to face, would she try to kill him? Um, well, he comes from Joseon soil, so yeah, right? I, I guess. So then maybe maybe she is the villain for season 3. Or maybe it's up to the crown prince to try to convince her to, like, change. Uh, because honestly, her, as we found out throughout this whole movie, her life and backstory was awful. Very tragic, right? Like, Yeah, because, I mean, everybody, like, the Joseon, like, Lord Cho, like, uh, faction or whatever did some awful shit yeah they manipulated so the, she... the 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 uh i don't want to butcher these guys the paijo is it right the paiju clan into attacking her village and then yep. ended up killing her father oh. it's it's her against the world it's her against the world literally and I, on, literally her against the world. i honestly thought the saddest part of her backstory was that she felt so alone that she brought back her village as zombies just to feel yes. like some connection yes it's sad and also kind of sick that she's feeding live humans to them to keep them alive. So, uh, I mean, I hope she's not the villain in season three because I kind of like her character. She got badass, but at, the way it ended definitely makes me skeptical. <laughs> but, I mean, this is the whole reason Kingdom happened is because of her. So, like, yeah. she she is the villain. <laughs> I, I guess another villain possible. I think that guy could be the villain because. I think I think the one we just saw at the end there, the uh, the 
clan leader, the, maybe the Paiju, like, elite forces leader, because I think they would have shown us her killing him. Like, not off-screen it, like, they faded to black there. That makes mm -hmm. me think that he got away, and that maybe he'll be the villain for Season 3. That they have to go up maybe. against him because like we saw the what we saw him for maybe a minute and he was throwing axes dodging arrows right so yep. it makes me think he's pretty nasty i don't think he they would off screen him like that so i think he could be the villain um, or is she just straight up mercs them huh? it's possible like she she was nasty we saw there so she took out a whole village like i wouldn't be surprised yeah. all right so this movie gave us the origin uh of of our story so uh, i guess we'll like kind of wrap up with this do you think that this is the origin of the actual resurrection plant like it actually came from the uh, pie gun area where that was sealed off and that it came from that little section with the like, cave writings that it, it originated there yes okay yeah uh, okay so you think the china I'll, story I'll was yes. just made up like a telephone people keep telling maybe it's like yeah it's like a rumor i would assume yeah. it's probably like a it's a rumor. Okay, I could see that. I'm, maybe, maybe she's the one that could probably plant that rumor around, just so like nobody would come to that area. Actually, that's a good. That's nobody a good would theory. come to that and, area. And then she can control and the plant. Nobody would know it was her. Okay, I actually could see that. So, I I guess another question now is: Do you think she, she knows that it can spread? Because all the zombies she probably knows, they don't bite, they don't turn, right? That originated down in the south somehow. So do you think she actually knows? That they could... I don't think maybe she doesn't know about that. Okay. That's probably like the mutation. Yeah, that whatever. happened down there after the guy boiled. Our soldier boiled. After it, the guy boiled everything, causing the mutation. Okay, okay. So that that's I guess another thing we don't know. We don't know why fire. That even was mentioned at the end of season two. Why like I shouldn't say fire. Hot temperatures changed it to mutate. You want to like I guess as, before we wrap up, grade this as a movie, or do you just want to like say it as a part of the series? I remember we I mean, raided is, Kingdom it, it is, at the end. Yeah, it is the... Uh, this is technically our movie of the month, I guess. I would assume. This is kind of like a special episode, but... Okay. Our, our normal Kingdom episodes are like 50 minutes long, so this is just like an extension of it. Okay, so if you I gave this a rating a by itself, what would you give it? I feel like it's not fair to give it a rating by itself, though, because it, it is connected with... That's true, that's a good one. point, because yeah. there's no context if you give it a rating by itself, so... I, I guess we'll just extend it to our kingdom. It's like one. I think it's we, like you if you watch it's like if you watch Mugen Train and you grade Mugen Train just on Mugen Train, you know? Yeah, like, that's just fair. by itself. So I mean, I guess so, we'll just leave it as a continuation from our yeah. So one. rating it as a continuation of Kingdom, I thought this was solid. Like I'll give it like a seven and a half. Yeah, I think I'd lean towards that too. I felt uh, a little bit long in some parts, and I think they could have done a little bit better job of explaining the different people involved instead of dumping it us all in the beginning like a star wars thing where they give you like the opening thing i feel like it's just like you have you have to have pay attention to everything yeah, not only that you know, like, like you could even pay attention like unless you write some of this stuff down you're clearly there's a lot of stuff right stuff yeah. Down, yeah so i feel like they could have spaced that out a little better um but other than that, I thought it was enjoyable. The last 30 minutes was ridiculous. I feel like that was... Yeah, like... we got those bombshells of just like... Oh, she's like the one that was responsible. That's kind of like mind-blowing. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And now we know. So I guess we'll have to find out in Season 3 if she's going to be on our side or not. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's going to do it for us, guys. Uh, what a crazy journey. The start of Kingdom to now we're wrapping up. We have no idea when Season 3 is going to come out or if there's going to be a Season 3. But if there is, we will be on it. So don't worry about that. If Whenever that get, gets announced and if there's a trailer, we might do a reaction to that. So stay tuned for that. Um, after So our movie for March will end up being The Man From Nowhere. I know we got comments yep. from that as well in our YouTube of, yep. after we finished Train to Busan. It's just we had a lot of stuff going on, a lot of... Yep. different things and then all of us for dead came out which pushed it back even further but we are going to do it eventually and it will, they eventually will probably end up being march sometime so you could definitely stay yep. tuned for that it will be sometime during march so check out our community post where you can figure out exactly when um yeah because we'd want to do a movie once a month yeah so for january cool. we did encanto mm -hmm. we did um what's it called uh, for this month, we're doing Ash in the North, yeah. and then so on and so forth. Yeah. So uh, December was trained to Buzon, so... Yeah. And yeah, I think that's going to wrap up the video. So let us know in the comments what you thought of Ashen in the North. What did you think of Ashen herself? Is she a villain, an anti-hero? I know we got some comments on that in our last episode, so let us know now what you think. And um, yeah, is there anything you want to wrap up? 
But that's pretty much it. We appreciate everyone watching as always. Check out the Patreon, like, subscribe, everything. Stay up to date. And uh, we'll see you on the next movie and the next series. So until then, y'all take care and have a good one. Peace.